big, very, very good question. Um, and the simple answer is I don't know. <laughs> I think that um, um, inter interesting, maybe just some, just some thoughts of, of, just some further thoughts of my experience having gone through this, um, this lockdown. The young people are coping much better than the older people. Um, our, our seniors are struggling. They're really, really struggling with working remotely. But um, you guys, uh, young people, you, you, you already have the, the means of communicating with one another. Um, and that is fairly, it's, fairly it's, it's, it's been fairly easy for you guys to transition, you know. I think the area where certainly you will struggle a little bit is just the socializing aspect of, of the profession because you know that in order to build your career and to build your reputation and so on, you do need to interact with other people um, uh, your age and people older. And that is definitely going to, um, it's yes. going to take a step back, you know, like, for example, things like Anisa conference have been canceled already and so on. Um, I think mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the, the big changes that I see is really just the fact that um, there's a large, there's a, there's a big acknowledgement that people don't need to be, to be, to be, um, to be watched like hawks, you know, people can manage their own careers. Um, you can give somebody an assignment and get them to do that assignment and they can report back, you know. Um, so it, it, I think, I think we, we're moving away from this whole idea that, you know, people must sit in an office and somebody must watch over them and see what they're doing all the time. Um, I think sure. that is a general trend with millennials is that you want to have freedom to do something in your own way. You don't want to be mm -hmm. spoon fed and told how to do things. And I think that's something that's being, it's, 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 it's finally going to become a reality. And I think us as managers have to realize and give you a bit more freedom to, um, to solve problems. Um, but we still need to have that contact time because that's very, very important. So something very difficult, and, and, and I've actually spoken to some of the people in, um, in, in, in my organization and my team, and they say that sometimes to communicate something, like you, you might want to make some changes on a drawing or something, something which you would have marked up mm -hmm. in a pen and you'd gone through, have gone through with somebody and it would have taken you a couple of minutes, will take half a day or take a full day, you know, and that, those are the challenges that we have to resolve. But I think we have to get to a point where we give people more freedom and more responsibility. So... Um, from your side, the young people, you need to step up and take on more challenges. And from our side, we need to give you uh, a bit more leeway to, um, to prove yourselves, you know what I mean? And the reality is that not everybody is going to step up to that challenge. Um, some people do need to be managed more closely. And we have, to, we have to now have a more flexible approach to managing people. So not just applying the same strategy to everybody because some people just run and they just go with things. Other people need more yeah. guidance and so on, you know. So uh, I, I really think that that whole approach is really going to change in the way we have to have a sort of more individualized manner of managing people, you know. From a, well, I've only got experience in design mostly, so I want to, yeah. um, I know raps, so I'm sorry, I know my duty. <laughs> We'll be able to preach for days on this, but I think there's going to be a lot more emphasis on BIM and uh, integrating design software. Uh, working for an older company, there's not much focus on that. There's a lot of, you look at that software package in isolation, you use that little, just the one item that you know in that software package to do your design and then you print it and then you do it on paper and then you do it. You sort of, I think there's going to be a lot more collaboration I'm using all these uh, these terms that people love these days the cloud and collaboration and some and everything but I believe that it, we have to focus on that a bit more because if these things happen again if there's more lockdowns if there's more pandemics to sort of come to a dead stop every time it's going to be difficult if you've got everything set up um, maduti has been showing me amazing things that he's been doing that he's been doing his earthworks and then he brings in stuff from the mechanical people and everyone can just collaborate in the same models. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot more focus on that. I myself, I'm still a really, still really um, inexperienced with all of this, but I'd like to grow and I'd like to learn a lot more. So um, I know Anthony said something about uh, networking. 
Um, that's something I haven't experienced much before this lockdown, and it's going to get even harder. So that's something I'm not actually sure that hopefully you guys will have answers for with that. 